What is going on my people? How is everybody doing and how is everybody failing in today? Welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make an incredible Keegan Murray, I hope I'm saying his name right, build, all right? So look, first things first, we already know. So this is gonna be a power forward. We see that he's 6'8". We know that the weight is 225, all right? So when we look at the finishing first, the 77 driving layup is gonna be solid, 60 on the driving dunk, I mean the standing dunk. This is not bad because at the end of the day, that 45 is still reigning supreme. So you have a 60, you're probably not gonna see much of a difference, right? 80 driving layup. This, to me, like if you wanna get any type of driving layup, go with a 75 and above. Okay, starting at 75 because you get you unlock so many great dunk packages, man, it's awesome. So 80 gives you so many dunk packages to choose from. A uh, close shot of a 95. Remember I said in a lot of my builds, these, NBA players have high close shot because that's the easiest shot that you could make. You're literally right by the basket. You should be able to make a close shot. Now, this build is gonna have some great shooting. So mid range of an 83, three point shot of an 83 with an 85 free throw. So all of this is going to be solid, all right? So this is gonna be a balanced build overall. Now, for the post control, we have a 70, uh, 69. That's gonna be good. Playmaking, 65 pass accuracy, 70 ball handle, 73 speed ball. You can put the ball on the floor and get to a spot that you want to get to on the court. So you can maybe shoot or maybe dunk or facilitate. This is going to be solid. This is going to be more than enough to get the job done. Now, for the defense, we have a 68 interior defense, 78 perimeter defense, right? Still is low, block, all of this is out. So he's a decent defender. He can get probably a stop here and there, but he's not known to be a two-way type of player. But he's only 24, so he has a lot of time to grow and get better. So we're gonna just leave that at that, right? Now, for the physicals, not bad at all. 76 speed, 79 agility, 60 on the strength. So, you know, he got some time to get his weight up and, you know, hit the gym and, and make some gains. Vertical over 79. All right, so, we already see in the build and what we're wor working with with this Keegan Murray build. So look, so we're gonna go to the my play build. You already know. All right, we're gonna get this rolling, get that out the way. Boom. All right. Now, first things first. You already know Keegan Murray, first and last name, right hand. His jersey, from what I seen, was 13. All right. We're gonna go to power forward, of course, 6'9, uh, actually 6'8, six, 6'8 eight. Six, eight on the height, 225 on the weight, right here. And then we're gonna go 6'11 on the wingspan. So, you already know if you've seen my videos for so much time now, you already know that I like to start with the physical. So, vertical, we're going only with a 70, nothing more, nothing less. We're going with a 75 on the strength all right the 75 is solid because once we add more attributes in different categories we get that physical finisher we get strong handle we get box out beast and that's gonna be great agility right he had some decent agility but look what i was able to get so i went with an 82 which is the max that you can get for this build then i went with an 86 all right so this is maxed out both so just from the physicals alone when we compare the attributes that we saw just now, the physicals are way better. So you're way more faster with this build than if you was to just go based off his actual physicals that we saw on the roster. Now, we're gonna go to the finishing. So for the finishing, the finishing is actually gonna be insane. I'm not even gonna lie. So for this build, right, 95. So I saw that he had a high close shot. I'ma honor that. We are honoring what we see because that's what it is. Maybe you say this is too much close shot. That's fine. But at the end of the day, he had it. So I'm going to give him the added 95 close shot. All right. 80 on the driving layup. 80 is still going to be great. Just like last year, it's still great. Because look at that physical finish of silver. Area Wizard Silver. Hall of Fame float game and layup mix master. Learn to use your entire offensive back. 
you have an entire arsenal use this okay use float game you don't always got to drive and dunk or you know drive and do dribble pull-ups use float game you get it on hall of fame why not use what you have all right now the driving dunk we're going to an 80 you will be able to get his dunk packages as well because he does have a dunk package so that's dope now we're going with a 72 instead of a 60. i want 72 because i wanted to at least get that rise up on bronze all right so that's that's where it's at now for the post control I just want 70, so we're gonna be able to get some decent post badges. Post powerhouse bronze, post a poet on bronze, and hook specialist on silver. So this is why a lot of people maybe feel like 2K is born because they, they get all these attributes in certain categories and they do not use it. If you're not gonna use a specific you know, attribute within a certain category, do not put attributes towards it. But if you're gonna make builds like this that's balanced, use your entire arsenal so you can be able to be more effective on the game now we know that his mid range was an 83 so that's what we're gonna do and then a the three point shot was also an 83 so we're gonna definitely give him that 83 because why we get that limitless on bronze my people so look at this a balanced oh excuse me a balanced build so far from what we see right here 85 on the free throw we are going to be solid at the free throw line so this is a solid build keep in mind you can still put cat breakers to your build and make it much much more uh, uh competitive 65 on the pass accuracy is great because we get break start on bronze we get diamond bronze the ball handling so look at this 72 right on the ball handle so we get great badges just by having a 70 plus Handles for days on bronze, strong handle on silver, unplugable on bronze, right? He had, what, a 70 speed of ball, but look what I did. This changes the game. We get lightning launch on silver, not just bronze, but silver. Speed with the ball is at a 77, my people. You unlock some great um, dribble styles by going 70 and above. So you have a 77 speed with ball this build is already looking way better than the build that we just seen right now for the interior defense 75 on the interior defense so now we're gonna be able to play if you want to go 76 you go right ahead i just want 75 80 perimeter defense so we're gonna be a decent perimeter defenders it's still i want 73 why did i go 73 do not sleep on silver interceptor which we also can one plus this and get gold the block we're gonna go 68 for chase now he didn't have block but listen when i make builds i make it way better all right offensive we're just gonna go 66 and then the rest we're gonna put towards our defensive rebound this is gonna be great you could probably drop offensive or defensive and see if you could get more of one of the other but it's really up to you i felt like i wanted to just be balanced with the offense and def uh, defensive rebound for rebound chaser and also box out beast so once you do what i did you see you get number one shades you get number one shades you gotta listen tell people about this channel i'm making these builds the exact way three level scoring threat come on now stop playing with me all right so y'all let me know what y'all thought about this build and until next time much love